hey guys and welcome back to another vanguard zero video so uh first i'd just like to apologize for the previous one i was pretty busy and uh, i didn't really have time to uh do it like i usually do but uh at least i hope you kind of enjoyed the boss fight uh so anyways let's actually talk about the cl clan event they have now and it's actually for mega colony so um a uh, new character has arrived and a uh, new card are here so um let me quickly explain how to play the event like usual and um so you get challenge tickets um by doing character fights or spending gems and you use these to challenge the character uh that's present on the screen usually it's Vangaro. um but um after fighting and winning you get um clan points and clan medals clan medals are going to be used to exchange for cards and stuff for the event and uh points are well for your rank and also to um well if you fill it up enough if you reach enough points you will get a boss fight um and if you fight the boss and win you go up one floor in this event so um the higher your floor is the higher the rewards you get when you win a fight and um yeah the ranking system's also there if you get high ranks at the end of the event you get lots of packs and skip tickets and exclusive banners sometimes when you're fighting you might get lucky and fight vangaro i mean black vangaro if you fight him uh, you get three times more rewards by using certain boost skins you also get 1.5 times more rewards you can skip the regular fights but you cannot skip boss fights uh i think that should do it for an explanation i'll show you guys the boost skins this time uh it's a lot of characters from company actually this time in fact yeah all of them are from company x actually got shoma and then um anishi and then Hiroki and Ryuzu, who was also added this month um, for Gear Chronicles. Uh, sorry, Gear Chronicle. Right, then let's actually take a look at the cards for a little bit. And we'll get to the boss fight in a minute. Because Dark Face is actually kind of uh, pretty good, actually. So, that's the stride. Let's get to the grade 3 for uh, and then I get to the stride version. So here we have Dark Face, which has. Yeah, okay, good, it loaded. So what it does basically is um, GB2. Uh, it has a GB2 scale like most grade 3s do. And Soul Blast 2. Um, so at the end of your turn, Soul Blast 2 to activate it uh, on, on during your opponent's next turn. Uh, their first normal call um, will uh, will be called as rest unless they pay CB2. So yeah, uh, it's different from the original. I believe that was just when it's it's like every time that your opponent calls something or normal calls something, you can SP2 to rest it. Um, but but yeah they, they change it to make it i guess it's a little bit more fair this way right um but anyways uh yeah i think got a bit of a debuff um it also has a stride bonus like usual when your g unit strides you can cp1 and then choose two of your opponent's rears paralyze them and then um until the end of the your opponent's next turn um they get the following skill do you, at the end of your turn draw one your opponent draws one card so it means if you use dark face and you use his skill your opponent's cards will have the effect of giving you uh, i mean letting you draw at the end of their turn so yeah uh, if, in case you're curious about what pa paralyzes um it's resting your opponent's rear guards and making them unable to act they can't use skills i think i might be wrong about that but um you also cannot move them 
uh, but you can overcall them and also they don't stand I believe uh, during your standby uh, during your stand phase they don't stand um, but they uh, just like locks I think they last at the end of your turn um, yeah so they're basically kind of like locks except that they can be overcalled and their power is still there uh, and they don't really lose any skills I believe uh, and we'll get to the uh, G unit stride here. Sorry, I'm taking a bit of time. Um, so uh, it has a keyword. It's using the keyword, um, I'm not actually. I don't remember what the keyword was, but uh, the in order to activate it is um, uh, the there's no uh, okay. So the keyword activates when uh, you when there's no standing rear guard in the same column as this unit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it says. Um, so if there's no rear guards there, also then it also still works because uh, there's no standing rear guard right there. Anyways, uh, once per turn, CB one, flip a card from your G zone, and then your. Uh, and then um, based on how many uh, dark face strides you have up as in this unit uh, choose the same number as that as your opponent's rear guards uh, and then for each of them you, this unit gets 5k and during the next until the end of your opponent's next turn gets the following sorry um, all of the rear guards that were chosen gets the following skill this unit loses intercept and this unit uh, cannot be chosen by your own card skills. Sorry. And can be used as a cost also for your own card skills. So it basically means you can't use your own cards to intercept and you can no longer use them to pay for your own cost or to select them for your own skills. Uh, so that kind of sucks, you know. But uh, Dark Face Gridora is even worse. Anyways, um, that's... I think we'll just get to the boss fight right now. Uh, the event also ends in a few hours. So I don't really have most of the boost skins in this event. So we're actually gonna just take one deck for fun here. And I think... Um, I'm actually going to take Soul Charge Bruce for fun. Uh, yeah, I, I've been thinking about which deck to use, and I don't think I've ever sh I've shown what Bruce can do, so let's get to it. Okay, so let's see what we have here. Uh, I think it's okay to keep that. We don't have a PG, but I think we can keep whatever we have for now. I do want at least like one guard though. Guarding is really important here. We'll just do that. Um, the reason I'm also taking Bruce is... Do I need to use skill? Nah. Um, this guard's good. Nah, I, I, I think I won't use it. And we'll just regularly ride Steve here. As I was saying, uh, I think Bruce might might be able to win just because it has some multi-attacking later on when you actually get to um, final rush so I thought that uh, some thought process behind this is that hmm wait let me think yeah I'll call it behind wait I actually um yeah I'll call it behind brand there's my PG so yeah, just the after swinging into his intercepts, I can uh, attack again, and just that might help me win. Sorry if I don't sound, uh, if I'm not making sense right now. I'm a little bit tired from uh, my day. There goes my other PG. Uh, let's see here. When this card. He had soul charge one, so that's pretty good. We don't want to get rid of that. We also drew into another one, so that's okay. We'll keep Richard. 
because the one the grade two that we kind of want later on uh when we are at final rush is eden that's the one we want to have and we also need to keep in mind that we need cv for now it's all right we'll call this call that soul charge uh yeah i'll swing here just so we can soul charge there goes a the heal trigger and then sure we'll just boost here it's all right for now now okay it's a kind of a good thing that um he went first because he doesn't get to stride on his first great three turn even though we don't get to get the final rush until after he strides anyway all my pgs are just gone just going away um as i was saying yeah there's only one left back in deck Eden, I need a gym. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, um, he's, he's gonna stride anyway and do whatever he wants. So we just have to survive his stride turn and then I think we'll be good. Uh, so we might not call anything in the front row actually, but I can't do that because I don't have guards. Uh, what is this card again? Uh, Master of the Fifth, El Master of Fifth Element. Yeah, we don't need this right now, so... I put that in there kind of as a tech. I, I don't really remember why, but there was a reason why I put that in there. We can keep Bruce there to soul I mean to Persona right next turn and then I think we can strike maybe uh during our main phase when the card sprinter so uh for that turn get the next ability. All of your front row units get power plus one K. Hmm we don't also we don't need to reach a GP or anything. There's nothing that I can I can really do for now. Um, yeah, I guess we could stride and then hope to get something good here. Um, Cause that's not really gonna do anything. We really I think should just get rid of rear guards for now. Ah, uh, Steve. Um, yeah, not bad I guess. Maybe we'll. He's probably gonna lose intercept later on, but oh well. We're not in final rush, so no power plus 3k. Um, but I will just leave the Steve here in case I check a trigger. We'll get rid of this rear. We'll get rid of this rear. And then uh, no trigger. Yeah, no trigger. So Steve doesn't get to attack. We'll leave that there. And he's gonna stride because oh wh wait he oh he called the dark face. I don't know why I didn't notice that. He grabbed the dark face with the skill and then he called it. <laughs> okay, okay, wait. Oh good, he didn't check it, and I think can't yeah okay that doesn't hit so we're good we're still alive somehow and finally we're in final rush persona ride come on at least one eden no we don't need that oh gosh mm, oh man uh, i think we're just gonna need to go all out here we're not gonna win um and tax or boost if you're in final rush oh okay so it needs to attack first screw it yeah we'll just have to call the bruce we'll do this and then okay so it gets 3k right so we'll be 10 ah wait yeah i, I think i messed up so this won't hit it's fine. Yeah, alright. That, that was kind of a mistake. I don't need to boost for this. Sure, just so best 5. Restand. Hopefully we can get some luck, lucky with some triggers. Uh, I don't know where I want to put that. Because, okay, this will be 20k. And this will be uh, 11 and then 7. So that's going to be 20... 18? 
Uh, yeah, it's gonna be 18 mats. So this will be lower, but I'll give it, I'll give that here. So at least this will hit if he checks one trigger. Oh good, he didn't check a trigger. We'll do this and just hope that one card in his hand is not a PG. So yeah, a 25. It was. Uh, I think we lose here depending on what he does right now. Mm, yeah, I think we just lose here. He didn't activate the skill either. If we check a heal trigger, we still have one heal. I needed that Eden. I really, really needed that Eden right there and there. Oh, well. I usually only show wins, but, um... And I try to record most interesting fight. I mean, fight where it gets a bit interesting, but... I this time, I, I'm sorry. I really don't have much time uh, for this, so... And the event also almost over. Uh, kind of want to get the video out. Uh, I'll leave that in there. But you know, I hope you. He didn't stride either, so I guess you didn't really get to see what he kind of do does. But uh, to make up for it, maybe I'll try building the deck. Actually, uh, I'll see what I can get. I probably I don't think I'll be able to get the stride, but I'll try to build a dark face deck and. In another video, I'll use it so you can sort of see at least what the deck will do then in that, um, yeah. Uh, when, like, they're actually trying to use it properly. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video a little bit, uh, at least. Uh, the next event is going to be another, like, seasonal type event. Uh, it's a board, the one of the board game events, you know, like, four with the storyline. So that's going to be pretty cool uh, and I'll be sure to cover that as well. So I hope you're looking forward to that. Uh, and yeah, just thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.